I'm smack bang in the middle of writing a new book called well, I haven't thought of that yet. It's an urban fantasy crime thriller with horror elements and it's tracking along well, except for one thing. I'm just not feeling it. So it's time for a targeted character edit. This happens sometimes when I get into the midpoint of a novel. I've been writing for a while and the story, characters and ideas have come together fairly well. I've got a clear idea of how I want the book to end or at least what key factors are going to be leading towards the climax. In this case, my protagonist is suitably caught up in the story, her companions are likewise entangled in intrigue and there are external forces pressing down on them at a rapid rate, ultimately leading to a climax which promises to be earth shattering. The stakes are high, my characters are invested, but there's a problem. I I just don't feel close enough to my protagonist and I don't feel that she's invested enough in the story. Already some fairly dramatic events have transpired for Willow. That's my protagonist's name. She's been thrown into the action without warning and now she's trying to dig her way out. But again, I just don't feel strongly connected to her as a character and as a lead for this novel. So my plan is to do a targeted character edit focused primarily on my hero and her relationship with key characters throughout the book. The purpose of this edit is simple, to make my protagonist more relatable and heighten my reader's connection to that character. But what am I looking for during this focused edit? Well, a few things. Obviously, I'll fix any spelling or grammatical errors that pop up and I'll look to reword the occasional paragraph here or there to ensure that the story makes sense. But the main things I'll be looking at are as follows. How does my hero apprehend the world around her through her internal dialogue? What kind of language does she use? What idioms does she rely on? How does that language change when she's stressed, in mortal danger or forced into a desperate situation? How decisive is she when action is required? Does she second guess herself or just get on with it? How confident is she in her own abilities? How does Willow respond to those in authority? Is she kind to strangers? How does she respond when presented with something of a supernatural nature? Something inexplicable, dangerous or otherworldly. But Morgan, didn't you already work all this out before you started writing? Isn't that part of the outline process? Let me be clear, before I started to write, yes, I already had a fairly clear idea of Willow's character and how she would respond under these kinds of circumstances. Sometimes though, part way through the process of writing a novel, I find that my lead character is starting to drift away from that original idea, or they're just not gelling strongly enough with what I had in mind for them. At this point, I've got two choices. I can either edit the manuscript and make some changes to bring Willow in line with the way I originally conceived her, or I can let the existing form of Willow change my conception of that character. In this instance, I'm inclined to go for option one, primarily because I'm not sensing a clear difference within the character of Willow herself. She's just not really landing the way I expected. So here's my plan, to start the edit and then come back and let you know how I went, to report on the changes I made, what issues arose and how I resolved these. Was I able to strengthen the reader's connection with Willow and did I have to completely change some aspects of her character to do this? Let's fast forward in time and find out. Okay, so the first thing that occurred to me as I started to go back over the book is that my protagonist has nothing firm anchoring her to her pre-novel life. The circumstances of the novel take her away from her existing life and throw her into a dangerous realm called The Breach, where she's called upon to investigate a murder. From the moment Willow sets foot in the breach, her life spirals out of control. But what I found when rereading the manuscript is that she didn't seem to have any strong connection to the human world. Nothing pulling against her while she was in the breach, tugging at her heart or grounding her. So I gave her a sister, a sister she dearly loves and wants to be loved by, but from whom she is largely estranged. After the death of their parents, Willow raised her younger sister, Liana, single-handedly. But as she grew into womanhood, Liana began to resent her bigger sister, perhaps blaming her for their parents' absence. You get the idea. Family stuff. Adding a family member like this does two very important things. First, it anchors Willow to her old life and provides more tension as she goes about her business in the breach. Secondly, because the relationship is somewhat strained, it acts as a kind of wound that will follow Willow's character as she moves through the story. A vulnerability which pulls at her character and only deepens as more time passes. As I continue to edit, I'm already sensing more depth and intensity to the Willow character, even though her sister is only mentioned a few times throughout the book. The second thing I've noticed is just how active and in control Willow is in the first chapter of the book. She's dynamite, but 
As the story progresses, she becomes less and less active. She's just a passive observer as circumstances and other forces act upon her. Now, to a certain extent, that's as it should be. She's been pushed into an unfamiliar environment surrounded by magic and mayhem, and the circumstances of her life are now dictated to a large extent by titanic forces at play within the larger world of the Breach. But it strikes me that even under these circumstances, there's no way Willow would be this passive. Yes, she's an investigator. Yes, the drama and intrigue she's experiencing are unprecedented, but it's just not within her character to be passive. As I continue editing, I'm going to shift her language and demeanor where necessary to reflect her character. Now, this might not mean she can actually do anything to change what's happening to her, but her attitude will certainly be closer to what I imagined. Editing Willow with a view to character will not only help drive the story forward, it will remind me of why I like her so much. More than this, my earlier edition of The Estranged Sister and the family backstory adds further weight to certain aspects of Willow's character. There's a reason why she has a smart mouth, why she continually seeks out violent situations, and why she became an investigator in the first place. She's a protector. Stepping in to protect and look after her younger sister as a child has fostered in Willow a sense of needing to step in and defend those who can't defend themselves. At a deeper level though, her hunger for danger and violence stems from a deep self-hatred the need to punish herself for failing to protect her parents and causing her sister to reject her. Childhood trauma, am I right? My book was broken. Or rather, the connection I had with my protagonist just wasn't strong enough. And that means my readers would likely have the same issue connecting with that character as well. So how do I feel now that I've done some targeted editing on the book? Well, after only a few chapters of editing, I'm already beginning to feel connected with my protagonist and I know that I have the tools I need to enhance Willow's character as I continue editing. Now I've got editing to do, so as always, keep it real, keep it safe.